will present us about the quest for quantum spin liquid uh, in pyrochlor lattices. So I will let you uh, present uh, Atma. Uh, thank you. Thank, thanks a lot. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank for the, the organizers uh, for this uh, great opportunity to, to present uh, my topic. Um, I'm a, a student of uh, Andrea, Professor Andrea, Andrea Bianchi from uh, Montreal University. Um, I'll be doing a PhD with uh, Andrea Bianchi. Um, and um, so the topic is uh, uh, quite similar to uh, what we heard uh, the night we heard on uh, Thursday, um, only that uh, it's mo much more basic. So I, I aim this presentation for uh, um, something between undergrad and grad studies. Um, okay, and the topic is uh, pyrochlor lattices and, and quantum spin liquid. So instead of the content, I have uh, the roadmap for this, uh, for this talk. Um, then naturally, I'll start by uh, uh, describing the fundamentals of uh, quantum spin liquid. Um, then I'll talk about uh, par the pyrochlor lattice uh, and particularly spins in pyrochlor lattice. And I'll end with the merge of those two uh, components namely uh, the realization, the possible realization of quantum spin liquid in, uh, in pyrochlor lattice. And uh, the main uh, message, the take home message from this talk is uh, that pyrochlor lattices can uh, host uh, quantum spin liquid. So before uh, describing, describing uh, what is uh, quantum spin liquid, um, I'll talk a little bit about um, uh, standard magnetism or semi-classical magnetism where we can uh, imagine the spins as arrows uh, in space and we can uh, represent uh, the state uh, with a, a wave function which is a <clears throat> product state uh, of the spins and the spins are uh, represented in a way that is independent uh, of each other and uh, in a certain model, the Ising model, we can uh, calculate uh, the energy that will depend on the exchange integral, namely the, the J. Uh, if we have uh, negative J, that will correspond to antiferromagnet uh, and the wave function uh, will, be, uh, will be this al alternating chain of spins. Um, now, uh, we can make it uh, less uh, uh, classical. And that will correspond to a one step towards uh, uh, quantum spin liquid. So we can also think about a uh, wave function that instead of just a, a product state, it's a, well, it's a product state, but it's a product state of superpositions of pairs of spins. So in this superposition that I uh, show you here, it's, it's a sync. Yes, each uh, two spins are in a singlet space, a uh, singlet state, and uh, that is harder to represent with arrows. So instead of arrows, we put dots for each state, and each pair is linked with uh, with this line. So this is a, a possible wave function, but the question is whether it's a, a good a ground state, whether it minimizes the the energy of a given uh, Hamiltonian. And in, when we talk about just chain of spin, it is not uh, uh, energetically favorable, but uh, when we talk about a triangle, there, there the story is somewhat different. So in triangular lattice, uh, given a magnet interaction, there is this uh, uh, question of which, which direction should the, the, which state should the, the uh, third uh, spin should uh, uh, should be, and there are uh, th uh, six uh, possible ways of uh, arranging the spin in a in a, in a triangle so that it will minimize the. Uh, so we can choose, for example, this uh, combination, and then we have to uh, fill up the entire lattice. And you see that uh, there were, there are many possible ways of doing that. Um, because I can choose in each triangle a different uh, spin configuration and that will still correspond to the lowest uh, energy level. In other words, the ground state is uh, massively uh, uh, degenerate. And that's called a frustration, magnetic frustration. 
And in magnetic frust frustration, uh, it, uh, it was uh, shown already in uh, 1973 by Anderson that, uh, that, uh, that uh, um, energet energetically it's for the spin to pair up in, in singlet. And that is how the quantum spin liquid was first uh, uh, envisioned. Now, the, naturally, the next uh, thing to look at, the next question would be what would be the uh, higher energy state the excitation? Uh, so before talking about excitation in uh, quantum spin liquid, uh, I'll do a quick reminder of, a uh, very eureka reminder of what do we mean by excitation when we have a standard magnetism. So um, for we need uh, uh, the model, which is the Eisenberg model, because it has those transverse com components that can flip the spin. And if we start with uh, anti-magnetic uh, uh, configuration, um, this Hamiltonian will give rise to excitation by flipping one spin, right? This is what we call uh, 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 creation of a magnon uh, particle. Um, usually what is done in this uh, uh, point is uh, expansion in, in, in space and uh, that kind of uh, description, but I'm, I'm, I will stay in this heuristic uh, level um, for the sake of explaining um, that in quantum spin liquid. Uh, so before going to the quantum, I mean, I, I'll move on to quantum spin liquid, but before talking about the excitation in quantum spin liquid, uh, it is useful to look at this uh, uh, somewhat um, or completely art artificial uh, model. It's called the, the toric code. It's not a realistic uh, Hamiltonian. It describes uh, uh, spins on, a, on, on this square lattice. The spin sits on the links of the, of the, of the of this square lattice, and this is the Hamiltonian of the toric mode. So this, all the information is, is in this uh, uh, Hamiltonian where I have to tell you what the P's and the S's are. So P, uh, each P is a multiplication of the sigma uh, of the Pauli matrix, the Z uh, component uh, of the Pauli matrix uh, for four spins. So those four spins are in this uh, X shape. Right. And the S uh, is, Again, multiplication of four spins for sigma matrices for spins that are on the square. Okay, so uh, the question now uh, is what is the ground state of this uh, uh, Hamiltonian? And we can build a ground state by uh, imposing that all the P's and all the S's will, will be equal to uh, one because this is how we, we, we would minimize the Hamiltonian. Um, so for, uh, if we consider the, the, the P term, uh, I can present uh, each uh, spin that is uh, down spin, let's call it, or uh, equivalently minus one has a, the uh, eigenvalue of, of minus one. Uh, I can represent it with a black line. And um, uh, so the picture of that uh, uh, will be like this. Because um, in each X, you see there are two black lines uh, coming out of each uh, corner, and that correspond to an even number of minus one in this multiplication. Right? So that will, will have P equal uh, plus one. Um, and uh, we also have to take care of the, of the S. So what the S uh, term does that, uh, is add a superposition of this uh, spin configuration. So the ground state will look like a superposition of many uh, of spin configurations. And here I show you uh, the Z component. And you see that there is certain feature to those uh, diagram. Uh, you cannot have, uh, uh, we must have uh, this continuity, this continuous line. Uh, so that, that uh, correspond to topological order. So, so given a, a certain restriction by the, by the Hamiltonian that we see that it gives rise to uh, topological order 
uh, in this certain representation. Okay, so we, uh, we wanted to talk about excitation. Uh, so we are getting there now. Uh, so how do we uh, uh, excite uh, quantum spin liquid? Uh, similarly to the way we do it with uh, Heisenberg and Newtonian, we have to apply transverse uh, uh, component. Um, uh, so we act with sigma x on this i site, and that changes this link to black because it's from plus, minus, plus one to minus one, and you see that it creates two, two defects in the in the lattice and those defects can be separated by continuously applying uh, this sigma x on by a link so we can uh, do that uh, until the two uh, particles are separated um, so each so we see that each, each uh, excitation uh, has to uh, create two uh, particles which correspond to uh, to, uh, well, it's by definition violation of the ground state rule and which correspond to uh, defects in the topological uh, order. And similarly to the way I do it with sigma x, I can do it with sigma z that will affect the other term uh, in the Hamiltonian and that has uh, different, that's, that's particle that has different name. One is magnetic particle, the other is an electric particle. Um, and the, they have uh, Fermi statistics. So if uh, I'll swap between two, uh, because uh, the, um, the wave function will uh, uh, get a minus sign, but more in interestingly, it has a non-trivial statistic. Uh, by that I mean that if I'll <coughs> uh, move one electrical, electrical particle, for example, around the magnetic particle, um, I will, uh, the wave function will also uh, get a minus sign. Okay, so that was uh, to introduce uh, briefly the uh, basics of uh, quantum spin liquid. Um, so let me summarize uh, until this point. <coughs> so uh, we saw the, uh, the fundamental difference between uh, standard mag magnet and qu uh, quantum spin liquids. The, uh, existence of uh, entanglement. Um, we talked about uh, uh, topological order that correspond to a certain uh, allowed configurations by uh, given uh, the, the restriction uh, to, to, have to be in the ground state. Um, uh, I talked about the uh, particles or the excitation and their uh, uh, interesting uh, the features. And so uh, now we want to ask uh, where can we, where, where we may find this kind of uh, behavior in real materials and uh, and the answer would, in, in this talk would be of course uh, uh, pyrochloral lattices, but the pyrochloral lattices is not the only uh, uh, materials. Uh, it is realized on a two-dimensional uh, Kagome lattice uh, and in three-dimensional uh, lattices, it's harder because, as we saw, um, uh, qu quantum spin liquid uh, uh, it needs uh, to to the, the system it, it has to be uh, disordered, right? and uh, 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 three dimensional three dimensional system tend to order more, and then we need uh, and again we need uh, frustration magnets to have the quantum spin liquid. So uh, there is certain uh, spin arrangement on pyrochloral lattice that's called spin ice. And here there is a small thing of uh, terminology. So there is classical spin ice and there is quantum spin ice. Um, uh, and, and, and classical and quantum here, I, I mean in the sense that I meant in the, in the, in the beginning. So the, uh, classical is a product state and quantum is entangled state. And uh, quantum spin ice, it's uh, uh, the same thing as saying uh, uh, quantum spin liquid in, in a pyrochloral lattice. So it's just a realization of quantum spin liquid in a, in a, in, in a pyrochloral lattice. 
So what is a, a pyrochloral lattice? This is the chemical formula for that. Uh, um, a is the magnetic uh, ion, which is important for us. Uh, B is a transition metal, which is not important. And O is oxygen, which is a, a little bit important. And it, and it looks like this. So each, each one of those elements is, uh, uh, is arranged in a uh, sharing corner uh, uh, network of uh, sharing current tetrahedra, tetrahedra uh, and, and uh, they are angled in this fashion. But again, what is important is uh, just one of this uh, uh, sharing corner uh, tetrahedron network. And uh, a spin ice is a situation, a, certain, a specific situation where the spins point either uh, inside or outside each one uh, of this uh, tetrahedron. And inside, I mean to the center of the tetrahedron. The ground state of uh, spin ice would correspond to uh, two, sp two spins pointing out and two spins pointing in. And, um, uh, and you see, similarly to, uh, to the situation in the triangle, there are possibilities for uh, a ground state. So, this is also a frustrated uh, system because the ground state is, is uh, massively degenerate. And why ice? Ice, the word ice is there because there is a one-to-one -one mapping to, uh, to water ice, uh, to the, 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 the crystal uh, formation of the water ice. Okay, but uh, how do we, uh, get the situation. So uh, having the spins uh, pointing to the center of, of each tetrahedron, that's uh, a lot to ask from a, a pyrochloral lattice, but there is a certain uh, uh, conditions that allow that. Uh, for that, we have to talk about uh, atomic physics. Um, so we're interested in spins, right? And, and, and I showed you uh, ions and ions, uh, the uh, the, the electrons have also uh, angular momentum, so there is, uh, there is the spin, but there is this also uh, orbital uh, angular momentum. Um, but in heavy, heavy, relatively heavy uh, elements, uh, because of the uh, spin orbit, uh, the, uh, we can uh, describe the system well with only just this total uh, the, the total spin, the total angular momentum, J, um, and we can figure out the ground state of the, of the ion, of the free ion, uh, by using Hund's rule. Um, so, but it still uh, has 2J two, two plus 1 uh, degeneracy, right? and we need, at, at least we need to have a two-state uh, system that was the, the the assumption that we have spin half um, and here we have again we have two two j uh, two uh, two j plus one multiplet um, so how we get a two state uh, uh, system that that happens uh, due to a crystal field effect and what is crystal field effect crystal field effect um, 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 related to the fact that the, there is a certain uh, to the to the electronic wave function has a certain spatial distribution. So here I show it for d d wave electron. Um, although uh, in our pyrochloral lattice it will be f electron, but it's easier to show with d uh, electrons. Um, and uh, that's for free uh, uh, ion, and uh, the ion sits in this um, electric uh, potential environment, and the black sphere um, is our uh, magnetic ion. Right, that's the that's the corner. That's one that's showing you one corner of where is my the of the of the tetrahedron, and it has oxygen uh, atoms around it. So the special uh, uh, wave function has to uh, uh, has. Uh, has different configuration that its energy level will depend on this uh, electrostatic environment. Okay, so uh, if the uh, uh, 
ions, if they are, if they oxygen or, or range in certain dire direction, there would be uh, different energy level to different uh, uh, values of, of different uh, uh, state of, of, of those two J plus one multiplate. So that's how the G, the the G, degeneracy is lifted, and in um, in pyrochlor lattice, uh, uh, it happens that the ground state is two state system. Okay, okay so uh, so that's how we can uh, have uh, the, our uh, spin ice uh, um, situation or configure uh, or, or uh, behavior, let's say. Um, and let's see how uh, we get a quantum spin liquid out of this. Um, so um, to describe, we can use perturbation to describe uh, uh, this uh, um, a state where uh, the, the, the spin tend to, uh, the, the quantization axis is to, uh, towards the, the center of a tetrahedron. And so we can have a uh, main part in the Hamiltonian that correspond to the size, that is the Z direction, it's the uh, quantization axis. And in the XY plane, uh, that, that would correspond uh, to, this, to a small uh, 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 perturbation. So it's, uh, there is an analogy to, uh, to the Eisen Eisenberg model, uh, only that in here we have uh, the, the transverse component of small, uh, small question to the Hamiltonian. So this is the main uh, term corresponding to the uh, ice, uh, the, the ice, uh, the spin ice ground state and the transverse component. And uh, if we uh, apply a, a perturbation theory, uh, it turns out that the lowest uh, order, uh, the lowest order, which is non-trivial in, in the per uh, perturbation theory is the uh, third order. So we have two operator, third order, we have six terms. Um, and so the spins that are affected by this perturbation will be on uh, an hexagon like this, right? So, so, the, so our uh, tetrahedra form this chain of, uh, uh, this chain that, that forms uh, an hexagon and the dynamics will occur in this uh, hexagon. So uh, why is it important? Why am I uh, talking about that? So uh, to, uh, to understand uh, it, um, I'd like to uh, take one step backwards to logical order. So here is another example of topological order um, where each uh, corner uh, has one link uh, attached to it. Right? That, that would correspond to our, our uh, ground state rule. And uh, I can do an, uh, a shift uh, of those dimers. Dimers, it's another word for uh, singlets that are represented here by this thick line. Uh, and this, this loop, this shift inside the loop will give us another state, but, it is, but we stay in the ground state, uh, in the ground state limitation, right? So we are still have a ground state uh, uh, configuration. And um, we can also think of, given a certain uh, geometry, what will be the minimal, uh, uh, this type of shift that we can do to our dimers. So in an hexagon, that would be those two configuration. And that's what happened with the perturbation term in, the, in our Hamiltonian. Uh, so I can represent it like this, and the Hamiltonian uh, basically takes, yeah, so it, it resonates between those two uh, options of, of dimers on, the, on, on an hexagon. So we, ha we start with, this, uh, uh, our, let's say that our uh, initial uh, configuration is this, acting with the Hamiltonian on this will bring us to this uh, different, uh, uh, Dimer configurations, and uh, in in terms of the energy scale, um, that correspond to the J uh, uh, perpendicular that we had in the in Meltonian, and to, uh, uh, to if I uh, flip just one spin, 
um, that will correspond to a violation of the ground finice or in the Tory code language uh, to the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the demand that the Hamiltonian will be minimized. Uh, and that will cost much, much more energy. That, will, that is the main uh, term in the, in the Hamiltonian uh, J set. Okay, so this is as far as I, as I go with the description of the uh, quantum spin liquid. Um, I'll just uh, end with uh, a few words on, uh, experiment, on experimental aspect, but before go, going there, uh, just conclude with using this slide, this comparison between the Tory code and uh, QSL. Uh, so in Tory code, we had this Hamiltonian, and here and the QSL is this Hamiltonian, which uh, a bit like the torque code, we have a, a, a term that is a longitudinal term that corresponds to the spin ice uh, ground state. And on, on top of that, we add uh, uh, perturbation that causes that, uh, ch that changes in the spin configuration. Uh, if I uh, draw the topology, it will look like this, like uh, uh, continuous uh, lines. And in uh, QSL, it's those dimers on, on, the, on the hexagon. And the particles are, by, are, are applied by uh, uh, creating a defect of topological order. And in QSL, the, the defect will be in the uh, spin ice uh, arrangement. So instead of, so here, for example, instead of having two spins in, two spins out, I uh, flip one spin and that would correspond to a creation of a, a particle in that area. And, and similarly to the way I can separate them in the Tory code, I can do the, the same way in, in, in a spin ice. So uh, a word on the uh, experimental aspect, aspect. Um, the main tool to probe those uh, lattices uh, is uh, neutron scattering. Um, in neutron scattering, um, the, we scatter neutron, the neutron, so it has a magnetic moment, so it is sensitive to the spin, uh, uh, whether there is a, a, an ordered uh, uh, state, whether the spins are ordered. Uh, and uh, indeed, what we see in, in, in classical spin ice and also in quantum spin ice that there, we don't get this magnetic drag uh, peak that uh, correspond to a magnetic order. And there is a certain signature for a quantum spin ice rather than a classical spin ice. You see that in uh, this material, uh, uh, it is, uh, that was already done in the past. Uh, here we have uh, cerium zirconium oxide, uh, which you see that it, is, it corresponds to the signature of quantum spin ice. And uh, cerium uh, oxide is what we synthesize uh, nowadays in uh, our lab. So this is uh, uh, our uh, sample. Uh, after putting it in the furnace, uh, unfortunately it got bended, so it's not very useful. However, uh, we did verify that we get the, the uh, the Eric law uh, structure. So uh, in, in that uh, aspect, it, it, it was uh, a success. Yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's all. Uh, I conclude by uh, repeating the, the importance. So uh, we saw uh, the uh, uni unique nature of the particles that uh, can, that can uh, that in, in quantum liquid that Topology, right? Rather than uh, symmetry breaking in, in, in uh, standard ma magnets, um, there is still a uh, uh, need for theoretical and, and experimental work on this. Uh, um, the I, I had the, I hope uh, the point uh, was made that uh, we can expect uh, to find quantum spin liquid uh, in uh, in pyroclore lattices. And as I mentioned, we will be doing that with a cerium zirconium oxide uh, and, um, and 
later with uh, zirconium hafnium oxide, which was not, not done yet on, on this compound. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, my supervisor, uh, Professor Andrea Bianchi, the, the lab members, uh, uh, Gabriele Baudin and William Dupuy. Uh, special thanks for uh, Eric Dupuy that uh, kindly answered all my uh, questions. And uh, Evan Smith, uh, who is also working hard on synthesizing those, uh, those uh, uh, pyrochrome lattices in, in McMaster uh, University. Uh, so now I think it will be time for uh, questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Avner, for this, uh, this very clear presentation. Um, are there any questions in the chat? If you have a question, you can uh, either raise your hand or simply uh, unmute yourself and ask the question, I guess. I keep it civilized. Uh, maybe I can ask a question. Uh, sure. This is Jeff Quilliam from the University of Sherbrooke. Uh, this is a really interesting uh, project, uh, by the way. Um, uh, I, I'm curious though, um, so in these cerium-based pyrochlorides, what makes you think that there's this transverse interaction term. Uh, what, what experimental evidence is there for that? Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so, so it has this, uh, so in the pyrochlor lattice, when I describe the, the, the pyrochlor, uh, um, there is the, the arrangement of the oxygen atoms are such that um, the, the XY plane, there is, uh, well, more, let's say the symmetry is such that there is, uh, um, um, uh, it, 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 uh, the, the quantization axis is towards the, the Z uh, direction. And, and the Z direction is, that, that's what I, uh, that is the, the, the main, uh, Direction and the and the x y uh, direction is is uh, there is less of uh, effect because um, because of well, just because of of symmetry um, mm -hmm. um, and in terms of experimental uh, that I'm not sure I I, I don't know how uh, they uh, the, how how this was this structure was. Uh, 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 how how people uh, conclu concluded that this is in fact the structure, but but this is uh, presumably presumably the structure in, in the pyrochlor lattices. Okay, so I mean the crystal field, I guess, gives you the the z local z axis Ising interaction, and then yeah, I'm just wondering where the transverse part that comes in that brings gives you a more quantum mechanical system. Uh, I'm wondering if, if there's some direct uh, yes, experimental evidence for that. I don't know the answer either. But, uh. Yes, that, that, that's the idea, and um, uh, and um, and it's it's a model. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know how how uh, uh, well established it, it is, but uh, it is something to uh, to to validate. Yeah. Okay. Well, it'd be very cool if it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, officially a quantum spin ice. That'd be a very neat, neat discovery. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Any other question? Doesn't seem so. Uh, I had a question. I'm Andre Bianchi. Okay. Um, so you said that the on the Tori code the, the order is topological. I can see that because all the lines do not intersect. Mm -hmm. um, sort of, but uh, I, I don't see how you calculate or, or or how you define the you know the topological number, basically, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, uh, Normally, you, you you calculate an integral over some surface. Uh, do, do, do you have an answer to that by any chance, which is simple? Probably, maybe not. But mm -hmm. uh, no, I I I don't know. 
I mean, if you don't cross the lines, it's obviously that you end up with something which is distinct, but it's, it's, to me it seems non-trivial, or maybe it is trivial. But. Okay, so uh, on, the level, on the level of uh, how the line goes, th that is just to minimize the, the Hamiltonian. So you want to have uh, minus one values, uh, an even, even number of minus one value on each uh, x, right, on each, uh, on each p. Mm -hmm. And so I can have either two lines, I can have no lines, I can have four lines also, I, I, I neglected that in, in my drawings, uh, but, but that, that's the uh, origins of this topological order. Uh, topological numbers, I'm, 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 I'm not familiar with, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know this. Uh, well, it's basically a sphere has no holes, a donut has one hole. Sorry? A donut has one hole. So there is two paths which you can ha you can have. You, if you throw a lasso, if you stand on the surface of a sphere and you throw a lasso, mm -hmm. you're a cowboy. You throw a lasso, you can always close the loop. If you do this on a on a on a on a on a, on a donut or on a bagel in Montreal, mm -hmm. if you happen to throw your lasso around the you know the the the, the circle of the where the hole is, then you can't close. So there is a different loop which you can't close. Okay. There uh, is two I, kinds of loops. So if you land just on the surface of the bagel, that's fine. But if you go around the bagel the other way, then you can't close the loop. So you have a, 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 a different number of loops. And that's basically how these things are counted. So there must be a similar concept there. I mean, <clears throat> but I, yes. I just don't see it. Yeah, I know, now I, I understand. Um, it, it's, it's also, also here what we have is a, is, a, is a donut, right? I didn't mention that, but that's a donut given that the, the, the boundary uh, uh, conditions are, are periodic. So then you can wrap wrap the lattice uh, on the, the up, up and down direction and right and left direction and you get the donut and the uh, topological number maybe will be uh, four because it gives you four uh, uh, distinct, distinguished uh, uh, ground state. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, so okay. it's that direction, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, thanks. Yeah, sure. Any other question? Maybe could you just um, remind us a little bit about the applications of a quantum quantum spin liquid or quantum spin ice? Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, in titles, I can do that, uh, not uh, in specifics. Uh, it's important in the uh, superconductivity, and uh, the Tori code is uh, is has may have application in uh, quantum computing because uh, uh, there are it, it it gives you a system that has. Uh, uh, protected, uh, or not protected, but robust uh, uh, spin, uh, uh, robust uh, quantum states. And that is desirable because uh, the problem with qu quantum computing and, and, and the qubit is that they, they, they tend to not, not behave well. And if you have a material that you can cre create a robust uh, quantum state, um, then, 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 it's, then it's good because uh, uh, because because then you can use it for for uh, quantum uh, computing, and 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 it, and it is robust because it is it is on a on macroscopic level, right? It's not we're not talking about uh, uh, pinning one electron, but it's on the on the on the macros macroscopic level of the of the lattice. Uh, so that is one direction of, of another direction of, of application. And what did you mean by uh, for superconductivity? Maybe just elaborate a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I don't know much about uh, su superconductivity, uh, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, um, I, 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 I reluctant about uh, uh, addressing this, but it has, right, no it has connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there any other question? Doesn't seem so.
So let's thank uh, Avner again for this nice talk. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll have another talk uh, next week, but um, we do not have anybody uh, yet that is confirmed. So if somebody is interested or knows somebody, uh, we could uh, arrange that uh, and you'll have uh, an email if we can arrange something. So thank you everybody and uh, have a good day. Thanks.